I'm Lieutenant Jason Payne, Navy pilot and certified Pilates instructor. And we're here to get you fit for duty! A show by the military, for the military, for anyone else who wants a hardcore workout. Prepare to sweat. Welcome to Fit for Duty, Pilates on the Ball. Grab your Swiss ball and we'll see you in a moment. Welcome to Fit for Duty, Pilates on the Ball. We're here in San Diego. My fitness team is Kenneth and Renee from Navy Region Southwest. We're gonna get started with our abdominal exercises. Place your hands across your chest and take it all the way down, parallel with the ground. And up, down, breathing in. Exhale and come up, down, inhale. Exhale and come up, hold it, down. Up, exhale, inhale, down. Exhale, come up, inhale, down. Up, down. Contract your abs, come up, exhale, hold it down and come all the way back up this time every time we go down we're going to touch the opposite portion of the ground so I'll demonstrate one the first one will be down and right you'll roll touch behind you and come up the second one down and left all right do these with me and our first one is down and right. Exhale and come up. Same thing on the left. Down and left, inhale. Exhale, come up. Down. Up. Inhale, down. Exhale, come up, down, up, down, up, two more, down, up, down, last one, and up and relax. Our next exercise will be called high hand crunches. We're gonna lay down in the horizontal, put our hands up, and we'll do 15. Come down, arms go up, exhale and come up, down, up, down, up, down. Up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, three more, up, down, up, down, last one, up, and relax. We're gonna switch gears here. We're gonna take it to the floor. So take the ball, and put your calves on top of it. And we're gonna do crunches again. Lay down. Cross your arms, same breathing technique. Exhale on the way up and come up, 
down. Up. Down. Up. Down. Up. Down. Up. Down. Up. Down. Continue breathing. Exhale, come up. Down. Up. Down. Up. Down. Two more. Up. Crunch. Down. Exhale, come up. Contract. Hold it. And relax. Grab the ball. Keep your knees bent. Take it out over your head. Now we're going to do roll-ups with the ball. And arms outstretched, breathing out and coming up. So take a deep breath in, exhale, and come up and touch your feet. We'll do 10. Down, inhale. Exhale and bring it over. Down. Up, exhale. Down. Up. Down. Up. Down. Keep going. The size of the ball actually matters depending on your your height you can check into it each ball will tell you when you buy it what size this is for if it's someone that's over six four they're gonna need the largest and they go from about 80 centimeters all the way down to 35 so make sure you get the right size ball and relax now take the ball sit behind it All right. Now just take the ball, move it to the right, the left, forward, back, to the right, to the left, forward, back, hold it there, back to center. To the right, to the left, to the right. Continue your breathing. To the right. Let's bring it around to the left, to the right, to the left, to the right. Set the ball down. Now we're going to take face inward and sit on your ball. Now just take it all the way out and hold it there. As far out as you can. Now we're just holding it there. Working the powerhouse. Continue your breathing, keep your back straight, and balance as best you can. The least the ball moves, the better. And if you need help, you can walk it back in. Find what's comfortable for you, that you're getting a good workout out of it. Bring it back.
and do your standard Pilates stretch over the ball and take it down and touch the ground behind you and roll the ball back and forth. This is where the size of the ball is definitely going to matter. Come up. Take a slight break. And we're going to go right back into it. Take it back down. We're going to continue in this pose during the break. I recommend you do the same or get a drink of water. And we'll be right back. Welcome to Fit for Duty Pilates on the ball, upper body portion. Use it as a standalone workout by itself or use it as a precursor going to the gym about to lift heavy. All right, we're gonna get started with the crab walk. All right, everybody on your ball and walk it out to the furthest point that you can, keeping your body in line, back straight. And take it back. And back. And back. All right, we're going to do 10. Go. And back. And the modification of this workout is if you can't go all the way out, you go out as far as you can. Four. Back, back out, and back, halfway done, and back, out again, deep breathing. Back. And out. Hold it. Back. And this will be our last one. Bring it out. And back. Okay, we're going to mix it up for you this time. Told you it was going to be a chest workout, and that's what it's going to be. So take it out as far as you can where you can do a, cuff, a comfortable five push-ups. Some people can take it all the way out. Some people a couple of feet. See where you are based on your ability. And knock out two. And take it all the way back. All right, we're gonna focus on the chest and then we'll move into the triceps. And it's a overall upper body precursor for a workout is what I'm calling this. All right, so the wider your hands are, the more it's gonna work your chest. So when we come back out next time, make sure your hands are wider than your shoulders. All right, take it out and knock out two. And back. And knock out two more. And back. And you can see where you could gauge. You need to go further, keep it back. And that's the whole progression of it. Next time, you take it twice as far. Do one, then do three. All right, let's go do two more. And back. All right, we're gonna switch gears again. Same movement. Our hands are gonna be closer together, working more our triceps. 
So you're probably not going to be able to go out as far as you were before. So give it a shot and see where you are. All right, take it out. And knock out two. And balance yourself back. And again. And back. One more set of those. Like I said, this is a beginner Pilates workout, or if you're into lifting, it's a good setup. And down. And back in. Okay, we're done with those. Take your places. Take the ball and put it in between your ankles. We're just gonna lift the ball overhead and back with correct breathing. All right, grasp it, lay back. And down. Up. Down. Breathing out, exhaling. Inhale, come up. Down. Up. Down. Up. Down. Down, up, down, up, and relax. Face forward, grasp the ball on both sides. This is one of the most difficult push-ups you'll ever do, if you can even do a few of them. The object is to grab the ball on the side and do a push-up. So let's just see where you are. Try to do two of them. Lay down on the ball. The further it is on the side, the more difficult it's going to be. So the closer to the top, the easier it is. And if you can, move your hands out further to the side, and that makes it more difficult. So gauge that and do two more. And up, down, and relax. And come to the ball. Right, do your standard stretch. We're going to stretch over the ball, take it down, all the way down to the back, all the way down to the floor. Continuing to breathe. And come up and down. And up, take your arms out. Cross them, down, up, arms out, cross, down, up, arms out, down. Down, up, up, and relax, 
And now we'll do high hand crunches again. Arms straight up, come up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Down, up, down, and relax over your ball. Come all the way down. Touch the floor behind you. We're going to continue to stretch throughout the break. You do so at home, and we'll see you right back here on the Pentagon Channel. Dave Kevlish, orthopedic surgeon and team physician at the U.S. Naval Academy. Your body mass index, or BMI, is your weight in kilograms divided by your height in meters squared. The acceptable range is 20 to 25. Obesity is defined as a BMI greater than 30. If someone is 100 pounds or more overweight, or they have a BMI over 40, they're classified as morbidly obese. Obesity is one of the two main preventable risk factors for developing arthritis. The other preventable risk factor is trauma. To avoid getting arthritis, first and foremost, try to avoid sustaining major trauma to your joints. Single bad events like a car wreck or a blown out knee in a sports game can cause irreversible cartilage damage that will tend to worsen as the years go by. The next most important thing you can do to prevent arthritis is to stay thin. Because if you go through life obese, eventually all that extra weight will wear out your joint cartilage. Many of my obese patients complain of severe, incapacitating pain in their joints, even when the degree of arthritis seen on x-rays isn't that bad. Whereas many of my thinner patients, who have fairly severe arthritis on x-rays, report pain levels that are much more manageable. I'd like to share a personal story with you. Both of my ankles have arthritis, but on most days, I have no pain. One day I was walking in the park with my young son, who was tired, and he asked me to carry him on my shoulders. My ankles were feeling good that day, so I picked him up, placed him on my shoulders. He weighed about 60 pounds. After just a few steps, my right ankle was absolutely killing me. I thought I must have dislodged a chip of bone or something. Maybe it was locking up my joint. It hurt so bad, I literally couldn't take another step. My son was disappointed when I immediately put him back down and told him that daddy's ankle hurt too much. What happened next still amazes me to this day. As soon as I put him down, the pain completely vanished. Like, I had zero pain on the very next step. Now, I wasn't surprised by the fact that the added weight made my arthritic ankle hurt more. That's kind of common sense. No, what surprised me was that it really wasn't a gradual thing at all. The amount of pain wasn't directly proportional to the weight as it got added. It was just as if there was this distinct weight threshold below which I had almost no pain and above which my pain was intolerable. I'm not saying that my experience is typical. For many patients, perhaps it will be more of a gradual thing. But if you're carrying a few extra pounds, especially if your BMI is over 30 and you have joint pain, Weight loss may lead to a dramatic reduction in joint pain. Biomechanically speaking, every extra pound that we carry in our belly feels like six pounds to the knee. So when we lose 10 pounds of fat, the knee feels unburdened by 60 pounds. If arthritis has got you and your BMI is too high, the first and best thing you can do is lose weight. You can shed pain by shedding excess flab. Get lean through aerobic conditioning and healthy eating habits before seeking surgery or drugs to ease the pain. Together, let's train smart and stay strong. We'd like to thank Naval Air Station Coronado for all their support. My fitness team, Kenneth and Renee from Navy Region Southwest. We'll see you next time on Fit for Duty.